Hey everyone, before we get into the origami video, I just want to let you know something. I use origami paper. I bought it. It's called origami paper. Um, it solves origami paper for origami, but you don't have to use origami paper to do origami. I'm just going to show you quickly what it looks like. Origami is special in that it is perfectly square. So this side is 15 centimeters and this side is 15 centimeters. So really you can use any piece of paper that is 15 centimeters. So this right here, I'm going to show you how to use construction paper to do origami. So I cut out that piece that I just drew out. It's 15 centimeters by 15 centimeters. You can see it's the same size. Now this paper is a little bit thicker than this paper, but it really doesn't matter. We're not doing anything so complicated that that will make a difference. So I'll just quickly fold something really quickly. Just make sure you have a ruler and any size you want works. I recommend 15 by 15 centimeters because that's what this one is and it's just an easy size to use but you can really do whatever you want as long as it's the same same length on every side you're good. And now on to the video. Hey everybody and welcome back to Origami with Celine. Today we are going to be folding a birch bark canoe. Uh, little known fact, we actually have a birch bark canoe in our collections room, which is kind of like our storage room. Not a lot of people get to see it, but today I'm going to show you how to fold your very own birch bark canoe. However, it's going to be a green birch bark canoe because it's a lot easier to show you on camera how to fold one if I'm using a bright color like this. So our first fold is going to be folding it directly in half. Align your corners, pull your fingers back and across, and there you go, there's your first fold. Then you unfold it, and then you see that main crease that you made right in the middle? You're going to fold each of your sides to this corner right there, just like that. So we're going to start with one side and then do the other one, so they're going to meet nicely in the middle. Make sure everything's nice and straight. Again, pull your fingers across. And then the same with the other side. I find it a little bit easier if you just lightly unfold that, just so you can see the crease a little bit easier. So now we have two, and we're going to fold this side into that middle line, just like this. And across. There you go. So now you're going to keep these flaps closed. And now we have kind of like a book. So now we have these four corners. One, two, three, four. And we're going to be folding this corner into here, this corner into here, this one into here, this one into here. So you're going to replicate the same step on all four corners. And this is how you do it. You go, you take your corner, pinch your finger, put your finger now right about here. It makes it easier for the paper to fold. You don't have to if you can figure a way around it, but I find it's easiest if you go like this. And then fold directly along that line. And it's nice and even. Pull your fingernail across it. So it's going to look something like that. Just like that. So now you're going to complete that on all four corners. Get the one across from it. Again, put my finger there so it's easier to fold. Draw a 
finger across it, and then same on the other side. Just like that. So now this is what it should look like. Flap here, 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 and there. So now, this is when it gets a little bit trickier. You're going to take this one corner here, this one here, and fold it again, very similar to what we just did down here. It's going to try and fight you a little bit, but just be patient, and it should work out. So we're going to take this corner, put your fingernail here so it folds nicely, and tuck it right up to that line. Oops. See, it wants to fight you a little bit. Like that. Pinch that corner down so it stays. And then drag your finger up. So that it looks like this. And then we're going to do the exact same thing on this part. So again, we're going to pull this one down and match it to where this corner is. So pinch your finger there, fold it in so that it matches, and if it doesn't match perfectly, like mine isn't matching perfectly, it won't matter that much. We're not expert level origami folders yet, so. Okay, so now this is what it should look like. It almost looks like some kind of plane. So it looked like to me anyway. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing, and this one's even a little bit trickier. It's going to want to fight you a little bit more. You're going to take this corner and fold it down, the exact same thing that we did here. It's going to overlap a little bit, so I want to twist. Just make sure that you're using a lot of pressure on your on your fingernails. So we're going to take this corner, sorry, this corner, and we're going to fold it down. Easy, put your fingernail there, pinch it, pinch the top, and drag your nail across it. There we go. So it's going to look something like that. And now you're going to do the same thing with the other side. And again, you want to try and make it even, but if it's not perfectly even, it's not the end of the world. This side worked out a little bit better than my last one did. Okay, so it's going to end up looking something like that. Now, you're going to take these two corners, the top corner and the bottom corner, and you're going to fold them into this middle, this middle line here. Top corner about to the middle. You don't want it to overlap too much, but if it does, it's all right. You want to try and get it right on that line. Just like that. See how it meets that line right there? Now you want to do the other thing, and what other side, and you want to make it so that the points just about touch. If they don't exactly, no big deal. All right, so now you're gonna end up with something like that. Looks pretty complicated, right? Now here comes the cool part. You're gonna open it up like this. See how I did that? There's the middle line, and you're going to pick up one side, and then the other side, and open it up. Now, this is the tricky part I told you about at the beginning, when you get to fold it inside out. Just ever so gently, start to fold it inside out. Don't worry if your paper is wrinkling. It's meant to do that. And look at that, a beautiful little canoe. These are all the other ones I folded. There's my birch bark canoe, just a regular old white one, and one with color on the inside, but I used brown. So thank you for watching Origami with Celine. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Tune in next week for Painting with Megan.